the fuck is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to be a part of your journey is truly a blessing to me. I've learned so much from uh, the people that I have been able to connect with as well as the ones that are yet to come and that's truly a blessing to me to be a part of your life as well as you're a part of mine. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell uh, button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the, you know, positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that needs spiritual guidance as well as confirmation and validation towards their life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, my video uh, meditation music I'm using in the background is called Praise, uh, Raise positive vibration remove negative energy guide to positive thinking so figo frequency and i will go ahead and post that link in the description box below and my video today is twin flame 101 hey Oka is realizing the closer we connect with our higher self the more our power and create power and creativity grows it is so true because there's a lot of folks that i'm dealing with right now a lot of my love bugs uh you know, uh, soul family is truly a blessing. You know, it's just all these different moon phases that we are experiencing on so many different levels. Um, it's allowing us to be able to, you know, further our connection with our higher selves. It's allowing you to be able to use your experiences of doing things or things that, you know, that you would love to do that basically puts you out your comfort zone to be more comfortable with it you know like I told y'all you know I got a group uh, page or some of y'all might not know I have a group page uh, it's called hey Oka spiritual journey um, there's a lot of people that you know that share a lot of people drop comments and stuff like that but it's just like a platform for people to be able to express themselves um, being able to see their wants and dreams um, you know, I try to have questions out for the day, you know, what would you do on a certain situation to be able to get people to open up a little bit more because a lot of us as introverts will sit back in the shadow and it's just trying to have me draw people out to be able to help, help them express themselves on so many different levels, being able to know you know we're in a closed group so nothing goes out of that group unless you tune for it too if you're sure on the situation you know and it just allows people to be able to express themselves you know if they you know um uh, they need prayers what's going on for oh matter of fact can you please say a prayer for uh, miguel martinez for his family i'm not gonna go into detail what's going on but you know he really needs your prayers right now he's a member of my soul family you know he don't really comment on here as much as he does on the facebook page and we talk on one-on-one -on -one, but just keep his family in his prayers at this time um going through all these different things in life you know it allows us to be able to experience stuff there's a lot of us that are coming connection be able to help us prepare for a lot of different things that are going on in our lives that we're you know we might need a sense assistance to be able to understand you know it's just a blessing to me to be able to uh you know connect with a lot of people especially on one-on-one -on -one, to be able to get to know them on a deeper level to understand why they are the way they are you know just to know the universe is allowing me to be able to become blessed to be able to help people on certain things where, you know, cognitive uh, or clairvoyant, medium, all these different beautiful things that I can embrace. It allows my, my gifts to get stronger. It's just like the last couple of days has been so somewhat kind of hellish for me. I was, you know, blessed because I got to see another day because a lot of us aren't benefiting on that. You know, not every day somebody, you know, somebody was counting on that day and ended up not waking up in the morning so i'm very blessed i don't want to seem like i'm ungrateful because i mean i was not feeling good for the last three days y'all i've been sitting up here popping pain relievers like it ain't funny 
um, because that third eye was so wide the hell open. It's just like so many downloads I was getting was so freaking painful. But it allowed me to be able to see the things that, you know, I, I used to focus on that I'm parting ways with um, being able to see the things that they wanted me to bring to my attention on what I need to be able to do for myself and be able to project towards others excuse me but it was a blessing to be able to do that but being able to see other people that are you know they're ascending in a major way a lot of us might feel like it's slower like nothing's really going on but for, for me to be able to look at the outside in a lot of my love bugs are like really they're really coming out of their shell you know you have to be able to step outside sometimes because a lot of times we don't get to see that you know but god allows us to be able to connect with people you know i've known some of y'all for a short period of time and you're certain to watch my videos and there's a lot of things that are you know becoming answered to you which is a blessing to me i love to be able to do that some people are like Rosa, how do you come up with these videos like six seven eight a day i mean god that's what god blessed me to to be able to do being able to certain things that i've experienced in my life or certain things they have brought to the forefront on visions of what i need to allow myself to see with uh Impasse, you know, there's a lot of y'all I'm seeing where that it, it's just like looking at one of those movies. I forgot what what that movie was. God, oh, I forgot what it was called, but it's kind of like uh, forgot that movie that was uh, Bruce Willis was. I think it was Bruce Willis where it, it had Arrival. That's what I was thinking about. No, that was Charlie Sheen. Ugh, well, Charlie Sheen. It was called Arrival. It was like when you can see a lot of the empaths, it's like this big spotlight is coming on them and they're ascending. I see a lot of visions about that. You know, where and it's not like I'm saying the aliens are coming to get us anything like that, but it's just like you're becoming into your higher self. You know, you're being able to open your mind up. There's so many downloads you're getting right now. Um, after all these shifts and changes and stuff, it's you know, it's bringing us a lot of ideas and things to be able to be create, be able to be creative in our own special way. There's a lot of us are stepping out our, you know, our comfort zone, being able to have that confidence in yourself. Like, you don't, you might not understand where your path is taking you, but you, you know, you kind of have, you know, some kind of idea. It's like with me and my situation, you know, I really don't, you know, I try not to focus on the future like that because I'll end up getting stressed out when I do that. But it's allowing me to be able to go day by day, being able to know if I'm helping myself, being able to educate myself as well as other people. It's being able to allow me to do that. You know, it's just like for the last few days, I didn't want to feel like doing anything. You know, um, I just want to be able to lay here and, and medicate myself to be able to feel better. But it was just like so many downloads. It's like things that I needed to talk through. You know, I'm blessed today that I don't really feel the headache, but it's like that pressure is there. You know, that pressure is there. Like I can see, you know, a glow coming up right here, you know, that others may not be able to see. But being able to, you know, experience all these different things and the knowledge and, you know, the lessons that they're sending me throughout my situation for things that I'm coming in terms with, part myself with, because it's like the more I part ways with things that were holding me back, the more downloads I get. So the more downloads I get, the more that daggone third eye could just come wide the hell open. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, I said, I appreciate all the, the blessings and the lessons and the visions you're giving me, but this hurts so bad because it was like hurting so bad where it, I can feel pain behind my eyeballs. It's like everything was so, like my, my TV could have been on nine and it was too loud for me. My daughter was like sitting here like, mom, it's not that loud. I'm like, in my head it is, you know, and I'm just like, you know, everything was so enhanced for me to where it, I was so miserable, but I tried to push through, you know, I was, you know, thank God I didn't do videos yesterday, but these are still the ones that were left over from the day before. So I was blessed to be able to, you know, put out so many videos during that time, even though I was having those headaches, but I tried to make sure I blocked it because I didn't want to send that out to other people because with y'all being empaths, y'all tend to feel things that other people feel. So it's just like a lot of things that are going on in our lives, you know, that is allowing us to be able to see things there, you know, there are certain things that's coming that's not so pleasant you know that's coming back to resurface and it feels like things are haunting you and that's not what it is and the universe is not you know uh, you know wanting you to sit up here and suffer but they just want you to know okay you've been holding on to this situation way too long you need to go ahead and part ways with it you know you have so many beautiful things coming in your life if you'll just let this go and there's you know and i'm just so grateful for my process even i i'm trusting my process 
you know, I'm able to see the blessings within all the tragedies I've experienced recently. And, you know, late, you know, a few years ago and, you know, whatever I'm dealing with now, I'm just grateful for all those things. You know, there's days I get pissed. There's days I sit here and cry. You know, I go into my, my inner child and, you know, crying and say, I want my daddy and I can't have my daddy. Y'all took my daddy from me. You know, those days I get that as well. But I understand it's also healing me as well. You know, being able to see you know, even through, you know, the dark side, there are rainbows still there. You have to be able to fake yourself <laughs> saying it, you know, so you can be able to, you know, psychologically change your brain waves of thinking about the negative as something that is there for punishment. You have to be able to tell your brain, you know, focus is like, okay, yes, this is a tragic situation in my life, but this is that, that tragedy is going to enhance me in a most powerful way. Because it's things that we have had occurred in our life. It, it brings out strength that we didn't know we, we carried. We bring out hope, love. You know, when you can be that damaged and you still want to go out your way to make other people smile, that lets you know right there you got strength. You know, a lot of times we feel like we don't have that confidence in ourselves. It's just like if you know what it feels like to have any of these experiences and you're trying to change that for somebody else, it's just like, well, my children, I feel bad because I placed you know, negativity in their life. I expose them to things, you know, that I'm really trying desperately to turn a 360 because I don't want my children, you know, doing that to themselves and their children is yet to come or my granddaughter. You know, my granddaughter is so beautiful and, she, you know, she's one of those strong empaths that, you know, you can't tell her nothing, you know. Um, but it is just the fact is I, I, when I see my granddaughter, I really don't want my daughter uh, going that route with her. So I just try my hardest, you know, since I don't have that connection with my family on that physical sense. You know, I want to be, make sure that I'm there on all different directions for my, my girls, you know, try to be supportive as I can with my children. You know, I try to be open about the situations that I've been in, but it's really hard for them to really connect because I didn't, you know, I never talked about my childhood growing up. Um, it was very painful for me, for me to be able to open up and tell them all these things. Now they're like, mom, you know, we're not trying to be skeptical, but this is some big stuff here, you know, and just being able to try to wrap your, your brain around something like that, you know, your, your grandparents is out here trying to make you suffer. You know, they don't want to see them as that. And I, that's the main reason why I just didn't really want to see them, them allow them to be able to see that. But when I fully f found out the whole thing, I tried to guard them with all armor. Like, I don't want you dealing with those type of folks. But, you know, the way universities fit, they're going to have to be able to learn that on their own, even though it's painful, you know, for my kids, to even while well, the oldest one keeps in communication with them, it's very painful for me. But I have to be able to allow her to see the lesson between all that. Being able to, she, she has to find on her own the truth. So, you know, all these things that you're going through, um, a lot of things is going to come back to the surface and it's going to ask you to reflect. You know, there's a lot of people are, you're, you're, you're going to be by yourself for a while. You know, so if there's times where you're like, Dad, I need a friend or stuff like that, this is the time when the universe cuts you off from a whole lot of different people. This is the time that he wants you to be able to reflect on yourself, see the things that you need to heal, see the things that you need to step out of and, you know, walk on faith, the things you need to heal from, things you need to let go of and forgive, you know, being able to enhance yourself, open yourself up to be more creative, um, whatever the things that you really enjoy in life as being an empath and as your gift, you know, they want you to be able to be articulated to be able to able to do those things to project towards out the world that your life experiences being able to be that storyteller you know um being able to show your version of how you as a heyoka empath or just an empath or a light worker um sees life through your eyes you know being able to express that with other people to be able to help them as well because you know there's a lot of people there just like you you know they're trying to understand why am i going through these things am i crazy is there something i'm not seeing you know all these different things occur in people's life that's why i love what i do and i tell people all the time it's a blessing to be able to do that the downside is being able to know what y'all have went through a lot of times you know uh universe allows me to see certain things that came into your life for you to be able to be who you are and why you are the way you are that's the downside for me because it's just like damn <laughs> y'all really went through some stuff you know i understand that now i see why you are the way you are so god is allowing me to have that open door policy for people to be able to you know come talk to me and being able to be open i tell anybody anytime you reach me out on one-on-one -on -one, it stays there 
you know, you want to talk to me about it. You know, I'm that type of person. Don't expect me to tell you something you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the things you need to hear. I don't never, I don't want to cut throat. it. I'm not going out there to belittle or disrespect nobody or make them even feel small. But you have to be able to be hurt with that truth. Like, this is the reason why these are happening. These are the reason why you're not getting what you want or things like that. Because I have to tell myself that every day. You know, you're, you're going through a series of healing, you know. Uh, being able to see things raw, uncut for what they truly are. But the things that you have endured in life is going to be able to be that milestone that's going to get you where you really need to be. You know, so I had to really look at it like that. When you're looking at it in a positive viewpoint, instead of in your emotions and your feelings when you're pissed off and you're just so tired of being in the situation you are, there's a reason why you're still in that situation you are. There's a lot of healing that you need to do. There's a lot of things for seeing it for what it is. Okay, you see the truth, when, especially when it comes to these relationships that you're desperately trying to get out of. You have to be able to see things for what they truly are. Why are things the way they are? You know, yes, but maybe it's a narcissistic person. Then you're going to have to heal yourself and not allow whatever that narcissistic person is doing to you to be able to affect what you're trying to push into your life you know there's a lot of people who are still stuck on that hurt i was on that you know there'll be times there'll certain things will come up and i start da, 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 da. this this happened with me when it comes to this person this happened with me and this person you know yeah this happens to you yeah life sucks sometimes <laughs> you know but you can't be dwelling on those things you have to be able to say you know what yes these things have happened in my life yes it occurred yes it sucked that i had to experience this but you know what i know there's something better out here for me i know this is not what my life is supposed to be stuck like you know there's times I've asked myself that or I even asked is there anybody out here that cares about me is there anybody who loves me for being me you know and I used to have to go through all those different things in life because I didn't feel like there was love out there for me just because of you know anytime it was like that you know that I actually felt love I actually felt wanted it was snatched away from me so quick like you know God why are you always taking things from me you know or why is always somebody always choosing somebody else over me you know, but then it was allowing me to be able to love myself regardless of who's not there. I am there for myself. You know, I love me. If nobody else didn't, I did. You know, I had to go through all those different things. And knowing, yes, there is somebody out there that loves you, but, you know, they were always waiting in the shadows. They were always expressing it. And it, it's just like, I, you know, I carry guilt a long time because there are certain things my dad would leave Easter eggs throughout certain songs, throughout certain videos, he wanted the guy towards me, then I'm seeing it, and I'm like, dang, <laughs> I didn't see that, you know, and it used to really hurt me, but it's like my dad keeps telling me it's not your fault, because they shielded you from that, you know, how would you ever know if you didn't know, you know, so I, I, I carried a lot of guilt for me for that, then I had to be able to forgive myself for allowing me to even feel that way, because it's not like, okay, I ignored it, but it was like, things were put in my life for me to have to ignore it. So it's just a lot of things was a learning process for me, but being able to know, you know, it was a blessing to be able to know, even though you didn't get that physical contact, it was still there. So it's just a lot of times when you're connecting with these things that allowed me, you know, allowing me to where I'm open, you know, because if we're shielding ourselves from going through so many trauma you know, traumatic things in our life, you're blocking yourself from that love, you're blocking yourself from abundance, because you can get mad, like, you know, I'm always in this situation, and this and this and this and that, because you're so focused on the hard stuff, and you're so focused on the things that has happened, you're not leaving that gateway open for you to be able to feel the angels, or, you know, ascended masters, or whatever, or even people that love you, you know, trying to send you that love and comfort and let you know, yeah, life sucks at times. This is life. It's a circle of life. You know, you're going to have the good times as well as the bad. But be open to be able to get that energy where they're trying to be able to help you. You know, being able to do that. Because it was a lot of times, you know, I blocked myself on certain things. You know, but being able to actually feel that love, you know, that transpires between me and my dad. I mean, that's the best thing. There's sometimes I feel it and then I just burst out in tears because that was the best feeling I ever had just to know that somebody actually cared for me like that. So it's just allowing yourself to be able to be, you know, getting closer to your higher self would allow you to experience a lot of things, allow you to be able to come into your power. 
um, being able to heal on so many different things is going to allow you to be able to project your creativity towards yourself as well as others. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. I hope you have a blessed day weekend and be responsible for everything you do. Uh, I would give, I would want to love to give a uh, shout out to uh, Greg as well as Keisha. Much love to you. Uh, drop me a line. Let me know that if you resonate subscribe hit that notification bell share give me a thumbs up know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and i'll see you on my next video much love peace